Hey, Maria, come here for a second. Yeah, what's up? Whoa, whoa, what is that? Katie, that is disgusting and smelly. Is that bug spray? Yeah. Well, how many of you guys wear bug spray regularly? I never do. Do you guys wear bug spray regularly? Okay, we see one over there. See? Uh, well, if we're going on that hike later, you need some protection. From what? Mosquitoes? Actually, yeah. Mosquitoes can carry many diseases. I was watching the seminar from Demystifying Medicine the other day, and there was a personal testimony from a woman who had the West Nile virus, which I'm sure you know is transmitted by mosquitoes. Okay, but I thought that only really happens in African countries. No, not at all. It's definitely not only in African countries. Uh, the virus was first identified in Uganda. However, there have been cases reported in North America since 1999. And a lot of different factors can influence where and when these outbreaks occur. So, for example, even the local weather conditions. I see. Okay, but isn't West Nile something which just gives me a fever and really only old people get it? No, not at all. So like I was saying, I saw this patient's story and it's terrifying. The West Nile virus is really serious and there's no cures or even treatments for this. So the patient, Connie, was just a regular healthy woman and she started feeling really tired one day and had sharp pains in the side of her head. The pains became so severe that her husband took her to the hospital. Now when Connie got there, she entered a coma for nine days. During this time, the doctors did confirm that she had the West Nile virus and her family was actually called in three times because they thought they were going to lose her from this. Now, Connie has lost her memory of most of this whole occurrence. Uh, she, the next thing she remembers after going to the hospital is waking up two months later completely paralyzed. Oh my goodness, is she still paralyzed? Well, the seminar was seven years after this incident. However, Connie still couldn't control many parts of her body, especially on her right side. And she had been going through a lot of rehab and physiotherapy since the incident. However, she still never fully recovered. That just seems like a terrible physical experience. The thing is, it's a really terrifying mental experience too, because we know that there's no cures or even treatments for these symptoms she was having. And the doctor in the video did also mention a lot of research going into therapies for this West Nile virus. However, none of the th therapies have been effective in human trials yet. Okay, great story, but I'm only 21. No one ever I knew at our age got the virus. Well, the thing is, the risk factors aren't actually really clearly defined. So while only 20% of people that get the West Nile virus actually show symptoms, one in 100 of those people can progress to serious neurological diseases like Connie had and suffer permanent damage. So yes, people as young as us definitely can get the virus, and it's not confined to only old people or people with weak immune systems. So while the chances of you getting the virus are not very high, the prognosis is not in your favor if you do. So consider it, it's one spray of bug repellent versus possibly a lifetime of consequences. And I'm not saying this is the perfect solution, but it is the best preventative measure for the West Nile virus until there's a vaccine available or even treatment options. So I'm just looking out for you. Prevention's the way to go. So do you see now why bug spray is so important? I absolutely do. That seems like such a terrible, terrible experience. And I'm going to wear some bug spray now. And I guess you're just trying to be a good friend. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys.